so yeah, we're here in Australia for the launch of the new SRX 900 line array, which is a new line array that puts us in a new category of line arrays for JBL. So something we're really excited about. Really, it's a case of um, making line array more accessible uh, to a wider group of users through having a very easy to use solution at a more affordable price. So for this category, it's very critical to have a system that's very easy to use and very few things to go wrong. So having the Ampfires and DSP in the loudspeakers, we can guarantee performance under any conditions. And it's much easier for our customers to use them because they only require power and depending on the application, maybe audio and networking, and that's it. The, the products can always perform the way we intend them to. It's sort of a mass market appeal product. So it, uh, there's a lot of interest in the portable PA world, but there's also a lot of interest in the professional community. And what we're seeing is that customers or people that have invested in our top tier products or even our mid tier products are really even looking at investments in powered uh, line array systems. And so even though we intentionally focused our development on a core group of markets, we found that there's a broad appeal all the way up and down the market. I think from a visual perspective, you know, producers, designers don't want to see arrays, whether it's a TV show, whether it's a you know, theater performance, there's a lot of restrictions um, on us as sound designers. Um, and I think, you know, having a box that's, that's able to deliver the performance in a small package is really critical. Um, for meeting the visual requirements of a lot of productions these days. Usually, two-way speakers have some directivity problems, and that has to do with how far apart the woofers are and how that affects the directivity of the low-frequency section. For SRX900, we took one of the technologies that we were using in VTX products and applied it to a two-way design. And that technology, RBI, allows us to bring the woofers much closer together, which allows us to control the directivity of the low frequency section and make sure that that directivity matches the directivity of the horn. And therefore, as we move from the spectrum of the high frequency driver to the low frequency dri driver, there is a seamless uh, match between the two and the directivity stays constant all the way down to uh, what the uh, low frequency drivers can do. So when we created SRX 900, we looked at the product line from every aspect. Uh, so the line includes the loudspeakers, the accessories, uh, the software and everything in between. So it's the complete solution. And, it's a, and because of that, it's a very good investment because it can be used in a number of different configurations, uh, going from a very small setup to a very, very large setup with the exact same products. And it's just a matter of how you put the system, system together and what accessories are used. Even comparably, when you look at SRX, or even if you look at some of our newer line array systems, as they've become smaller, we've been able to still keep the high performance within the systems. But even when you're looking at powered systems with integrated electronics and power amplifiers, et cetera, they're, not, they're marginally larger than a passive system. The fact you can put you know, two of the 906s on top of a subwoofer and do a small room in a you know, convention center or something, and then take that the next day and, and create a full line array uh, for, a, for a gig is, makes it very versatile and flexible. So, so yeah, I'd say that the applications are limitless, really. I think it, it's right across the, the spectrum of, of markets.